One of the cool things about using the EasyViz camera security system is that it's portable and you just need Wi-Fi and power for it to work. So sometimes I use it as a baby monitor when I'm working in the office and my child is sleeping in the other room and other times I would make it face the door and use it as a security camera. Whatever the case may be, if you use it as a security camera for example and you want to see footage of something that happened like someone breaking into your house and you need that footage again, that is the downside of EasyViz. The way that you extract footage from there is not very friendly. Well, at least I don't think so anyway. But this is how you're gonna use it if you use the laptop or PC. And if you want me to make a video on how to install the EasyViz application on your laptop or PC, then let me know in the comments down below. But once you've installed the application and you've opened it and it's running and it's set up, you don't have a button here to show you exactly where you can just go and look at the footage and then save it right and what you're gonna need to do is go to your gallery so this footage that i'm talking about is usually saved in the library in the local library so usually what you see is the cameras and then the list of uh, cameras that you see depending on how your setup is and if you click on this little window here you're gonna see all of these and you're gonna have your account you're gonna have your access if you want to change uh, access for only laptops or PCs that are connected to this network to connect then you can set that up you can turn it on otherwise this is automatically disabled but where all of your files are saved are usually inside of this local album in order for you to view them on EasyViz anyway and there's nothing in here right now because I haven't recorded anything so in order for you to record anything you just go to gallery and inside of gallery maybe choose a date when you want to check where it happened uh, the incident or whatever sort it is and inside of this you just need to hit record and say for instance this is the time the incident happened you hit record here on the center of the right and after you record the footage then you you hit that again and it's gonna say it's recorded once it has been recorded you just need to go to your local and you're gonna see that the footage is there and once you've recorded it you can just go on to the local here and this is where you're gonna see the footage that you've recorded so this is the recorded footage and you can replay that so now if you click on that it's going to replay the footage that I recorded earlier on so you're wondering where do you find this if you want to export it so if you click on the four windows that's where you're gonna find it and then click on local so this is just if you want to rewatch it while having recorded it but say for instance you want to export it you need to find out where the location is and to find that out close this go to menu on the top right and go to settings and this is exactly where all of your footage is actually saved and the default is inside of this location right here wherever yours may be so if you click on browse then you're gonna see exactly where the video is being saved and this is the video this is the footage that is recorded that one video in the library it's this one right here and if you want to change the location just click on modify choose the location you want to save it in and then click on select folder and that's it it's going to change it to that and you'll be able to find where the file is and you can just play it from there you can watch this footage by going to local and simply replaying it and it's going to replay or you can also just go to that location in the settings and from the location you just need to click on the video and now you can you know copy and paste this and move it wherever send it to someone if maybe somebody broke into your house and you need to send them the footage of the burglary you can do that so quick recap you have to first go back to your gallery and record it and only then you'll find it recorded so I hope this helps you figure it out and let me know if it did if it didn't Tell me if you found another way of doing it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace.